Ah, December. It means that Christmas is right around the corner. So, it's only fitting that we talk about action figures. You know, the ones that you beg your parents to get and are disappointed when they don't deliver. Yeah, so I'm talking about the top five of the ones that I've had. In fifth place, it will be the human spider figure. I had a repackaged version from Hasbro, so I don't know if the figure was different from 2002, if they had to remold it with cheaper plastic. It was a really cool idea of having Spider-Man switch into Human Spider, and with the rubber accessories, it was really cool. The problem, however, was that it was super cheap, the leg broke off, the paint rubbed off on the rubber. It just it wasn't that good of a play toy. It was more of just a collector's item. So, yeah. You know, when I play with toys, I usually look for the playability factor. Like, if I play with this, pose it around a lot, is it going to break? If the answer is no, it's a good f figure. And this one just, it broke so easily, and I lost it. So, anyway. In fourth place, we're going to be talking about the Spider-Man 3 figure. Now, I think I had this one. I can't even remember. I don't have the package. I don't have the, the action figure anymore. It was a figure where you would switch it back and forth between Spider-Man and Peter Parker. Uh, so you had very low posability, um, but it had a really good sculpt on the Spider-Man figure. The suit was just a plastic shell <laughs> that you'd put on. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say on that. In third place, it's the Amazing Spider-Man. I had a little, little figure that was about three and three quarter inch figure, and it had like a really decent amount of posability. I got it for ten bucks at Walmart. Uh, I thought it was a really great deal for what I was getting, and there wasn't any of those, it didn't have that yellow lenses that a whole bunch of those toys at the time had. It had blue lenses, which looked more like the comics, more like the movie, because the movie, they were sunglasses. They weren't just yellow lenses, they were actual sunglasses. I thought it was always stupid that they just had them have actual yellow lenses. And in second place, we have the... Marvel, Legend, Marvel Legends Homecoming figure. And the Homecoming figure has, a, I think, a lot more posability than the Amazing Spider-Man, the little pocket one. It was, it's basically six inches, so, and you're actually able to get it in a little bit more uh, poses than the other one. Um, sculpt is nice. It's not entirely movie accurate, but... What are you going to do? It's better than what I can do. I mean, I can't really sculpt a figure, so... What do I got to complain? The figure had web wings, um, but they were really tiny, and they're they're going to probably fall off, because they just click onto the arm, and they're just, they're just going to fall off. It had different heads, it had different hands, so that's pretty cool. I don't think I've really ever had a figure that had different heads and stuff for the same costume so yeah but in first place the one that I deem the best one that I've had is a super posable spider-man figure from the spider-man 2 action figure line what the action figure had that was so great was it had magnets onto the feet so you could stick them to a magnet and it would look like he's crawling the wall um I played the heck out of the thing, and it still lasted me. Never broke. Maybe the head would pop off occasionally, but I would fix it by putting back on. It would work. It had in the individual fingers were articulated, so you can do the thwip hands, you do the punch hand, you can just do the handshake hand. You could do it. It was awesome. It had wrist articulation, it had, oh my gosh, it was so much fun, it looked accurate to the movie, it was just an all-around great figure, I think 
the Spider-Man 2 figures had the, the best toys, hands down. And I'm, I'm so happy that I was able to have my hands on one when I was able to. Let me know, what's your favorite Spider-Man action figure? Was it on the list? Was it not on the list? Let me know down in the comments. If you have an idea for a future upload, please let me know. I'm actually thinking, um, I don't know if it's already been posted yet, or maybe it's going to be posted after this one. I'm going to do a speed drawing of Spider-Man. So look forward to that, and I'll see you next time. See ya.